Neil, uh, one old defeat here at Stocksbridge this afternoon. Um, that one must hurt. We've been a bounce player over the course of 90 minutes. Yeah, it does. I think, you know, I've just said to the lads in there, you know, I couldn't ask for any more from them. Um, you know, they, they, they ran the socks off, they played, they played how we wanted them to play, they affected the game how we wanted them to affect the game. Um, and yeah, just we're very disappointed, but obviously we'll take some positives from it because that's the best staff of football I've seen since, since we've been here. I mean, first half we were, we were, we were okay. Uh, Second half, good, very good, yeah. Uh, it must be this point with the goal conceded. Uh, I mean, it was a fantastic strike, but a needless giveaway in the corner. Yeah, the ball comes out. I think Smithy's trying to think it's going to run out of play. You know, we're telling him to kick it into Rotor's head. He doesn't do it, he passes it, it goes to one of their guys. It's like an half clearance and it's an absolute world. Mm -hmm. It's an absolute world, yeah, and two keepers wouldn't have saved it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just one of them things, but. Again, you know, it's just a mistake we've made mm -hmm. in, in the game, what's cost us, ultimately. Uh, a big moment in the first half, right at the stroke of half-time, Rob Kilfoyle scores, but the flag goes off. I've watched it back personally, and he, it looks onside. Yeah, it's, it's a goal. I mean, we're coming off at half-time, mm -hmm. and even their supporters are in line with it, are saying, it's a goal, it's a goal. I, I spoke to Rob, he's honest, he's in line with the wall, he's hit the ball, so he's in line with the wall, he's not offside, and he's reacted and he's scored. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your bottom at league, sometimes... You know, it goes against you, them decisions go against you. But for me, I, I spoke to the linesman at half time, we had, a, we had a chat, and he's given me his decision. He just says he thought it was offside, and he's flagged, but everybody in the ground thought it was onside. Our two big chances in the second half came in the space of a couple of minutes, really. Uh, Nathan Dyer's chip, and then Rob's chance right on the. Yeah, Nate, yeah, listen, I think we dominated the second half. I think if you listen to their interview, Ian, Ian, you know, Ian's got to say the same, and we got kept getting in time and time again. I thought Theo, Theo Hudson was a massive plus in there. And he just kept orchestrating things. And again, Nathan got in, yeah, lobbed the keeper. It's going in, it's the post, bottom of the league. That's how it goes for you. And again, the next one he was on about, the cross comes in and everyone's just waiting for the net to bulge and somehow it doesn't go in. And again, you know, looks out at the minute, but like I say, I'm taking lots of positives from it. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about Luke Sherry's performance. Uh, a very composed display in the Hatwood field today. And that's something we've been lacking this season, I think. Yeah, I mean, Luke's, Luke's a quality player. That's why we got him in. You know, he's, he's been lucky with injuries. He, he pulled up in a friendly midweek. So we had some doubts of him being available today. Uh, another big plus he's got through it. He's a great player. He's experienced and gets on front foot. So, yeah, I mean, he adds a bit of experience in there and a bit of steel. Class player. He'll only get better. Uh, back home next Saturday, we take on Stockton at home. It doesn't get much tougher than that, does it? Listen, we've got Stockton, we've got uh, Pontifact, and we've got Worksop. Okay, but listen, we're not afraid of them. We'll go and we'll go try and win the game. We've got another couple of additions coming in next week, uh, and we'll take positives from this result, uh, from the from the performance, and we'll go. We'll go with no fear. So we'll go try to win the game. Every game's difficult, you know. You can look at their results. I think these have played the big boys. No one's whips these, and um, you know we've competed today. And probably should have got some from the game, so we'll take some positives. So we'll have a good week training, and we'll 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 get going next Saturday. And just finally, obviously Craig Ogle is not here today. Um, heard he's had a bit of an accident. Yeah, Craig's had a. He's been in hospital. It's Craig for well, he was in hospital just for one night, but he's been off all week. Um, I mean, he's okay. He's you know we're speaking and stuff, but I think it was going to come today, but I think it just come a little bit too something. But Craig, Craig will be back in dugout next week, hopefully. Yeah.